Hi everyone, I'm Siddhant and I'd like to share my experience of having very strong female leaders in my team and in my career. I think when you work in advertising after some time, you know, it is common to get quite desensitized to days like Women's Day. And it's largely because I think we see a lot of brands jumping on the bandwagon and creating content, you know, just for the heck of it. And at the end of the day, I think it's us and our teams that, you know, have to find different angles and different ways to make this, make, you know, content for each and every one of them. And uh, while this is a reality for our industry, I think we do need to keep reminding ourselves that, you know, this does not mean that the day loses its significance, right? While one should uh, obviously appreciate women throughout the year, uh, specifically for men in our industry, I think Women's Day can serve as a very good reminder for the amazing things that men can learn from strong women leaders. And one of the things that I think I've noticed uh, that good women leaders bring to the table is, you know, a much higher level of empathy uh, within the team and also for the customer, right? Uh, so be it a brand message or be it the way you handle your team, that just definitely seems a uh, lot more comfort and a lot more, you know, a much more empathetic approach to, you know, how things should happen. And um, that clearly there is a much higher level of understanding, level of trust, and as a result of which, you know, there's a lot of confidence in your ability. And I think for young people, it will go a long way in their own careers, you know, and I think working under a good, strong female leader is a, is definitely needed for, you know, for us to get a really wholesome experience, you know, especially in our, in, in our formative years. I think another thing that I have noticed is that, specifically in a creative lens, right, you know, when women write or create female characters, there is a lot more depth, there is a lot more relatability. And, um, you know, it, maybe that's because, you know, of, of a mix of the lived experience and the learned experience that they're able to obviously represent their lives or the lives of other women around them so beautifully. Something that I've often seen men will struggle to, you know, they're, they're little tone deaf. One could say that, you know, a lot of times men can be when they're creating the women characters. And as a result of which, I think, you know, there's a lot of, lot for men to learn.